Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the Complete Selection Modification Common Rider Kiva Kivat Belt. Super excited for this one personally because Kiva was my first Rider series and still remains in my top five because I still love it. It's not perfect, but a very unique and cool series. So if you don't know, the Complete Selection Belts are the high-end expensive versions that not only fit adults but are packed full of tons of features and sounds. I will try to show off as much as possible. I mean, I'm gonna go over all the features, but I might miss a voice here and there just because there is just so much in it. But let's kind of go over it aesthetically real quick first. So obviously you have Kivat here. Uh, just This is like where the main sounds come from. It's all from him. He's basically the same size as the original release. It's a solid size. I think the paint looks really good on it. It's got a nice, slightly more kind of vibrant, more shiny looking gold paint. The silver paint here looks good too. Too as well. It's just, it's very well done. It looks and feels a little more high end than your typical uh, deluxe release, which is nice. And the wings can come out and stuff like that. He kind of has a hard time standing up like on his own. So if you want to display him like this, you're going to have to have something propping him up. But, so that's a little bit of a thing. But basically the same size, but a little bit better and more fancy looking. We'll go over the sounds here in just a second. But he also has some alternate eyes that you can pop out this part here. Ah! No. That's not the alternate eyes, but you have alternate eyes, so you can just have them as red, which is really cool, which is his default look. I think this is especially nice for when you have it on display, either in the belt mode, or if you just want him as a display as Kivat, which is probably what I'm gonna do in some form, and so that's really nice. I'm gonna swap it back to the regular ones, though, for the bulk of the review, and by for the bulk, I mean all of it, because you're gonna wanna be able to see the different colored LEDs, and like, it just looks weird through this. Like when it's blue, it's like, hey, it's red, but with like a little bit of a blue outline. Here is obviously the main belt itself. It looks pretty nice, honestly. It's got a nice kind of crimsony, shiny red. It looks a lot more professional and realistic to the show compared to the regular release. Everything's all put together for you and it has this nice cloth adjustable strip. This is kind of hiding this, so it kind of, well, hides it, but it has kind of that classic like fanny pack strap that you undo it here with, and that's how you can kind of take it on and off and press the little buttons and stuff like that, but you have this here hiding it, and like I said, it's adjustable to fit, you know, most adults, which is one of the draws of it. That actually, I feel like, used to be the main draw of the complete selections before they decided to include every sound a human's ever made in it. And then right here, we have the nuclear fuessels. I have all the fuessels here, and they look really nice as well. For some reason, this is like some of the crispest, like, clear plastic I've ever gotten in a rider toy. Like, I don't know, it's just really nice. For Buran Booster, remember when that was used like 1.5 times? And then there was Castle Dran, and then of course the Wake Up sort of finisher key. Nice, shiny, almost a shiny plastic. Well, I guess, but shiny paint there. You got Garu, Asha, and Daga. And then obviously they all have the, the holders which I'm putting them on. I might have put them on the wrong sides. But they also have that same nice plastic and they go on via the strap. Very easy to do there. So aesthetically, um, pretty nice there. So I've so temporarily moved the main belt out of the way for now just because I'm going to be focusing on the core sounds he makes on his own. So the on-off switch is back here. <laughs> So you get obviously those type of noises and we're going to go ahead and start off by setting him right here and when you stay quiet for a minute he'll make some random noises if you just leave him sitting there. So let's get that out of the way. My thoughts exactly. So those are the four noises you get if you leave them on standby, and they only come after you've left it on for a minute after each turn on. Like, it basically goes into a sleep mode after that, so you, you kind of have to turn it on and off if you want to get all those. If for whatever reason, that's like the main thing you're wanting out of this. Okay, so now for something more exciting is this button here, and these are buttons kind of secretly hidden, is you get eight tracks of background music. I will play most of them for each of them so you know what, you know, the song is, but I don't want to play the full thing just in case I get hit with copyright. It's happened before. We'll see how it goes. And then when you hit it, it'll stop it and go to the next one.
<laughs> that includes both the short and long version of Supernova. And that is the short version of Wake Up, and there's also the long version, which was number two. And there is a feature, which I'll show off very shortly here when we do the transformation sequences, where you can key it up so it will play one of those right after you do the transformation sequence. Okay, now real quick before we move on to the voice portion, there also is a, a motion sensing flight mode. There's about, oops, I didn't mean for that to happen. There's about three different, like, wing flapping noises. That's how feature rich this thing is. You got three different wing flapping noises. So right here on the back is a button for the voice phrases. Now just by itself, in this default voice phrase mode, there is 65 voices. I will try to get through most of them, but you'll get the gist of them. It's a lot of voices. Some of you might recognize. If you speak Japanese, you recognize a lot of them. But let's, let's get going, shall we? So strap in, and here's the warning about how many voices there are. It's unrelated. <laughs> Recognize that one.
Last one. So there we go, that's about 65 phrases. There was a couple I accidentally cut off early and I apologize about that, but as you can see, a ton of phrases and that's just in this mode alone. Now the next one here is called the flu mode from when he was sick, so you hold these two buttons together. So there's about nine phrases for his flu mode when he's sick. To activate it, you just hold these two together, but you don't need to keep him held down. I keep forgetting I didn't need to do that. That's why I had him held down for the first few minutes. It's kind of like when you're holding down the X button on a controller to go faster when you don't need to, but it's out of instinct. Okay, now we have Kiva Trivia Mode, which has 35 sounds, and you activate this by holding this button by itself, like holding it down. It'll get you into the mode. <laughs> And then continue pressing this button. モディリアーニとは名前は木目模様の美しさが求められる。みんな知ってるか?バイオリンの語源はラテン語のピチュラである。それは喜びの女神を意味する。つまり、バイオリンは人を喜ばせるものなのだ。女神様!みんな知ってるか?バイオリンが日本
それほどもろく壊れやすいものなのかもしれないみんな知ってるかチェックメイトとはチェス用語であるその語源はペルシャ語待ち伏せにあった王打ち負かされた王であるおお勉強になったみんな知ってるかルークとは戦車を表すチェスの駒の一つであるちなみにクールとはかっこいいという意味だ俺しまってクールか<笑> 19世紀を代表するバイオリンの天才パガニーにはその演奏のあまりのうまさに悪魔に魂を売り渡したと噂されていた<笑>
カボイツサイド。普通かなそうか。元気だよ。そうか。そいつはよかった。There's another mode you can activate while holding this down when it's off and then turning it back on. It'll make it so that when you do this, Kibato. Kibato. You're not going to be able to tell really, but it'll basically read all the sounds just based off of you saying Kibato alone. But here is, real quick, the instructions. It shows you a list of the different commands. And there's the thing about at the end about you can just have it saying Kibato and it'll say all these at random. It'll just link them all up. But those are all the different phrases. I can only say like about five of them. I'm even trying to go full weeb. Even some of them, I dial it up to more weeb than I'm comfortable with and it still won't read it. But still, it's a really cool feature that I, I really do dig. Now, lastly, here for the individual sounds before we start doing the transformation stuff with the belt, you can actually activate a mode that, transfor that transforms this into Kibat the Fourth, which is the one scene at the very end of the series that's Wataru's son. Spoiler alert. But you do that by making sure it's off, this is off, and hold this button down before you turn it on. And his eyes will glow white to indicate it's a different guy, and also his voice. And so. So he has about six phrases, and he also does have standby noises, but I'm not gonna cycle through all those now. But he has similar standby noises to his dad's, you know, when you just let him sit in there for a minute. Now, another thing you can do is by holding both buttons before you turn it on. You can activate his voice command mode, but he's only got a couple different phrases. Kibato! Kibato! And then. You have failed this city. Oh, I guess he recognized that one, because there's one for not recognizing him that couldn't have gotten more unclear, but he's only got a few phrases, but still. This was a totally unexpected mode, like it's already so feature rich, and that is such a cool bonus. It's only a handful of noises, but I didn't expect it to be any more since it was literally a one scene appearance, but what a cool addition. All right, then you have Fangire Detection Mode, which you activate by just pressing this button by itself, and then pressing the phrase button while it's playing. So it's got about 10 phrases, give or take, and they play at random in that mode when you're just pressing this and then the voices, and it'll just play randomly every time. However, you can also do it in flu mode, in which case it will actually go in chronological order. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. I kind of wish that they went in order for both regular and flu mode, but whatever. All right, guys, now we can finally get to the actual belt transformation stuff. So press this button at the top here, which is one of the buttons we actually haven't used. And you get this noise, and let's be realistic. Turn me into a vampire. And then just perch him up. And then the eyes will glow red for a little bit, and then later the corresponding color. So nice, clear sounds, nice, clear warning here. I need to remove that at some point, it's bugging me. And then you can get like after attack sounds by doing this. Well, the other one are after attack sounds. That one's just sass. And then you also get by pressing the voice phrases button. About 24 phrases, so here we go again, guys. Oh, 
We did it, you're a dragon. You done? Okay. Gucci, we get it. There we go for those main ones. All right, now I've switched it to flu mode and... <laughs> so it's only got about three noises, but still pretty cool. If you put it in the flu mode by pressing the two buttons before you transform it, it'll enter that mode and allow you to have phrases like that. All right, now we can use some nuclear fleshles. So let's start with wake up. Push this up and then it lines up in here like this and then smack it down onto the teeth. That's a weird way of listing instructions, but let's do it. Then right after you get that main sound for wake up, if you press the sound effects button, you get this. Booster. Again, remember the three times it appeared, guys? Now Castle Dran. Or ca I know, right? All right, now we have the ability forms. So we'll start with Garu. See, then you'll get the blue LEDs, which is super cool. And then this, that one has the attack noise. And 
And just in case you didn't know, again, you activate that by pressing the teeth. I just basically accidentally did it when I pulled out the fossil. The fossil. So now we can do basho. Alright, and now lastly, Daga. And it's worth noting that with those transformations, you can also put these in his mouth before you even do the transformation sequence and just do a quote-unquote direct transformation. Then you can get the dobaki form by pressing and holding this button here. And after he says that, start putting him in quickly. That'll key up for the next one. So that is for Dobaki Forms Transformation, which is pretty cool. Now when you want to remove it, there's a release button right under here you press just to let him go, and he'll actually have some phrases. So he's got some phrases that are unique to this button after you remove him from the belt, and he also has some in flu mode. So he's got a few different phrases. He's got a few different phrases in flu mode after you take him off of there as well. Now speaking of flu mode, you can do the transformation with it.
So now it does have a unique tone of voice for all the Fuesels with the flu mode. I'm not gonna play through the whole jingle because they're the same exact music, but I'll just do a cut of all the different voices. And you can also do this for Kivat the fourth. And then you just got like one different phrase in this mode. All right, now quick cuts of these. Alright, and lastly, but certainly not least, the ability to cue up the music for the transformation. Just press and hold the background music button, and it'll cue it up. So you can have it just like you're running into battle, and you can stop it at any time by pressing that. And you can cycle through them at any point when you're doing any of the other transformation noises. So that is pretty much the gist of it for this thing. If I forgot anything, I apologize. I tried to get absolutely everything, but I think I got the point across that this thing is absolutely feature rich. So if you are like me and are a huge Kiba fan, I think it's definitely worth a look if you can find a good price. It definitely looks good. It's not wildly different in sculpt from the original, but it looks a little bit better, so you have that going for you if you want it on your shelf. But it's got an absolute ton of sounds that certainly at least try to make it worth your money. In my opinion, it pretty much mostly was. I would always love to spend less, but I think that they do a good job of packing this thing full of features. Like, I did not expect or necessarily even need the Kivat the Fourth like, mode, but that was a cool bonus. And then the flu mode, you have so many different noises. Honestly, for me, it would have been worth it for the background music alone. You get a ton of tracks. Kiva has some of my favorite music and writers, so I'm happy about that. So bottom line, I think if you're a Kiva fan, it's at least worth checking out at a good price. Again, I hope I got everything. Uh, thanks for those of you that watched at least some of this. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps entering that bell so you, get the, so you can get the notifications for all my videos like this and more. Till next time, thanks guys. Dawson Ryder, signing out.